GPU cooler swaps have been growing in popularity a lot on this channel and you guys seem to really enjoy the Morpheus 2 cooler swap that we looked at a couple weeks ago. Since then though, there have been so many requests for this particular cooler that we're going to look at today and that's the Arctic Accelero 3. So just like the Morpheus 2, this is an aftermarket cooling solution for your GPU which aims to do a much better job than what's typical. The EVGA SC2 cooler that we'll be comparing it to today is what I'd consider the middle ground for a GTX 1080 Ti cooler. It's significantly better than a Founders Edition or Blower Style card, but being a two slot card, it is a few degrees behind bigger options like the Strix or Gaming X cards. Now, compared to the Morpheus 2 from Rajin Tech, there are a couple benefits here also. The first and most obvious is that the Accelero 3 actually comes with fans, whereas with the Morpheus 2, you'll need to purchase and install your own. Now, that might not sound like a big deal, but it does increase the cost of the final product by about $30 and when you factor in the fan splitters that you'll need as well, you're looking at about $100 for a functional cooler. The Accelero 3 though can be had for $69 on Amazon and comes with everything you need. Some people will prefer the Morpheus 2 though in terms of flexibility and as I mentioned in the initial review, I actually enjoy the fact that users are able to mount their own fans and basically customize the cooler to look like or perform however they want, whether it's high performance static pressure fans or quiet noctuas. With the Accelero 3 though, there's no mounting your own fans, unless you want to use zip ties or if you happen to have fans sitting directly underneath, something that we'll be looking at a little bit later. In terms of the way the cooler looks, I'd have to say it looks pretty dated when standing next to a modern cooler and shroud design like the EVGA SC2. There's no real gamer aesthetic or design happening here, and if you came here looking for RGB, well, prepare to be disappointed. The Accelero 3 is all business when it comes to cooling, but it would be nice to see a refresh of this dated shroud design. I'm not asking for lighting effects or anything like that, but something other than this black glossy plastic would be real nice. Let me know what you guys think down below. Anyway, the fans that come pre-installed are 92mm fans that spin up to 2000 RPM and Arctic claim that these are pretty quiet as well and I'm going to have to say that I definitely agree. Size also might be a concern for some users as when we looked at the Morpheus 2 despite the very impressive cooling performance, you do end up with about a 3.5 slot card which unfortunately meant that it couldn't fit in my personal system inside the N-Case M1. The Accelero 3 however does manage to squeeze in there with a few conditions which we'll go into a little bit more depth later. The compatibility list from Arctic's site is pretty extensive also which is nice to see. Pretty much any moderate to high end Nvidia card is compatible with the majority of AMD cards supported as well and despite the RX Vega 400 or 500 series not officially being supported, I have seen people use the Accelero 3 with a few of those cards here and there so I wouldn't be too quick to count them out. And lastly, the spec that matters most, the Accelero 3 claims a cooling capacity of 300 watts, which is 20% less than the Morpheus 2, which is rated for 360. The NCXT Kraken G12 allows you to quickly mount any Kraken series liquid cooler onto a graphics card. It delivers a 40% increase in cooling capacity over stock cooling and features a newly designed bracket with an easier installation process versus the Kraken G10. Plus, the Kraken G12 is also compatible with more than 30 liquid coolers on the market. Remove the original cooling module from your graphics card. Install a fan with the label facing the GPU bracket using the fan screws. Attach the two foam pieces at the corners while making sure the foams will not interfere with the components of the graphics card. Identify the correct mounting holes on the GPU bracket and prepare the required retention brackets for your graphics card. Mount the retention brackets using screws and washers to prevent risk of damage to your graphics card. Referring to your liquid cooler's instructions, remove the Intel and AMD retention bracket if it is already installed. Orient the pump's tubes along the side with cable tie points. Pass the pump through the GPU bracket grooves. Rotate the pump until it aligns with the GPU brackets and attach. Using the thumb screws with spring, install the GPU bracket onto the graphics card. Use the included cable ties to manage the tubes and cables along the trench with tie points. 
connect the three pin fan connector to the liquid cooler's fan power or to an open fan header on the motherboard. Follow the liquid cooler's instructions and complete all necessary connections to complete the installation of your graphics card. This can include pump power, USB, and software installation. Thank you for watching Builders Workshop and for installing the Kraken G12 GPU mounting kit. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more how-to videos and learn more about our products at nzxt.com.